So I'm going to talk with this client more about um, getting moving a little bit. Um, I believe the, in the idea of move your body, move your mind, or move a muscle, move a thought, sometimes mm -hmm. people say. So I'm going to, first of all, educate them about the habits that they have that they're stuck in. And they will, of course, have to give me some information about the ways they feel stuck. But we'll look at whether or not um, breaking a, into some bad habits might be helpful, especially the kind of habits of coming in from work and sitting down and not doing anything or just ordering you know I call it cooking by phone hello uh -huh. Domino's um, uh -huh. that I want them to um, start thinking about shifting just little habits to move around a little more but I want them to work on on the idea that they have no control over anything but their own choices so th I'm talking about look at control versus influence this is more of a conversation than it is a method mm -hmm. um, and and I'm gonna take in any way I can um, conversation about control versus influence with them and then I'm gonna work on their idea this is the person who says I just can't do it well, I can't exercise. I can't eat right. I can't tell my boss I need a different shift. And I just want to do a language shift for a while. And every time you say I can't, say I won't. Mm -hmm. Because I think I won't. And I'll tell you, people do not like that. They'll say, mm -hmm. well, but I can't. And I'll say, that may be, but you also won't. And mm -hmm. I would like to see what you feel like if you say, well, I won't talk to my boss. Mm -hmm. Because they get real a little agitated of what, what, what are you saying to me here I'm saying that you won't every and if you just say that you start feeling a little bit more control and I it, sh it actually just uh, agitates their typical hopeless ruminative mental process and begins to make them think differently and that's my whole goal at that point